good morning students today in sst we will talk about the other three oceans i had already discussed about the pacific ocean and the atlantic ocean today we will discuss about the about the antarctic ocean the indian ocean and this uh, and the other ocean arctic ocean so three oceans more are left i'll explain you that up and uh, in the atlantic uh, ocean I, and uh, uh, pacific ocean i had uh, i had also given you question answers a uh, short question answers to write five question answers were there so you that you had to write it in the fair copy and uh, the today uh, today also i'll give you detail one two question answers i'll give you two i will give you tomorrow so let's get started with the question ans uh, with the oceans explanation uh, there are uh, indian ocean so indian ocean it is connected to the mediterranean uh, to the mediterranean sea and uh, it provides major sea routes to the world then the uh, Anta this, uh, then the la the one is southern ocean which is also called antarctic ocean so it is also it uh, covered with uh, ice and uh, it, then there is arctic ocean it is covered with ice that also it, and it is the smallest continent Uh, ocean sorry it is the smallest ocean the arctic ocean so we will all discuss about it okay so let's get started so students yesterday we had discussed about the pacific ocean that is the largest ocean in the world covering 46% of the earth's water surface and it divides north america and south america from asia and australia then in the atlantic ocean we had talked about the uh, sea or it is also called the sea of atlas and is the second largest ocean and it covers 29% of the earth's water surface it is a elongo elongated s shaped basin it has an s shaped basin separating north america and south america from europe and africa then we are coming to the indian ocean today now indian ocean you all know where it is where is indian ocean it is here right below our in uh, country india so there is the indian ocean so the indian ocean is the third largest ocean covering 20% of the earth's water surface the indian ocean surround asia in the north asia is in the north africa in the west and australia in the east africa in the west australia in the east and the southern ocean in the south see here it is asia in the north then australia over here and then so southern then africa and then this antarctica so the indian ocean surrounds asia in the north africa in the west australia in the east and the southern ocean in the south southern ocean is also known as antarctic ocean now it is also connected to the mediterranean sea by the swiss canal the mediterranean sea by the swiss canal it is connected and that is why it provides major sea routes to the world whatever shipping and all is going on in the uh, sea it provides the sea routes to the world then we come to the southern ocean now the southern ocean i have told you also known as the antarctic ocean lies in the southern hemisphere it see here here it is this is the antarctic ocean over here so the southern ocean also known as the antarctic ocean lies in the southern hemisphere it encircles antarctica and gets water through the merger of the pacific it gets water through the merger through the opening of the pacific atlantic and indian oceans into it when it merge it when it mixes up with the uh, southern ocean they get water from here water supply okay then we come to the arctic ocean now student what is uh, this is the smallest ocean in the world the this is the smallest ocean in the world and it is partially that is mean, means half of it is uh, covered with ice throughout the year partially covered with ice throughout the year and it is lowest in salinity level in comparison to the other oceans means the depth is very low over here compared to the other ocean due to low evaporation of water 
इट सराउंड यूरोप एशिया नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड ग्रीनलैंड दिस इज द आर्कटिक ओशन ओवर यू हैव सीन दिस आर्कटिक ओशन सो इट इज ऑन द टॉप अंटार्कटिक इज यर इन द साउथ साइड एंड आर्कटिक इज ऑन द नॉर्थ साइड सो एंड इट सराउंड यूरोप इट कवर्स द यूरोप एरिया एशिया नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड ग्रीनलैंड एरिया सो इट इज कवर्ड विद आइस थ्रू आउट द ईयर पार्शली कवर्ड विद आइस थ्रू आउट द ईयर सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी हैव गॉन थ्रू दीज थ्री अदर ओशंस एंड कॉन्टिनेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सो दिस चैप्टर इज ओवर नाउ फैक्ट्स आई हैड ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू टू लर्न इट वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड वर्ल्ड बैंक ऑल्सो दैट इक्वेटर वॉट इज इक्वेटर इट इज एन इमेजिनरी लाइन ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस दैट डिवाइड्स इट इन टू द नदर्न एंड द सदर्न हेमोस्फियर then what is isthmus a strip of land connecting two main lands separating by water like north america and south america it is separated by the isthmus of panama then we come to the topography what is topography the physical feature of an area what that area looks with mountains rivers lakes and all then biodiversity variety of living organisms there are how many variety of living organism in that area biodiversity then what is trench deep hole in the ocean bed in the ocean if there is a hole deep hole that is called trench then submarine mountain range a mountain range under the surface of the sea see many mountain ranges all, all are above the surface of the sea on, in the land on the land but now but in submarine mountain range it is under the surface of the sea so these are the world bank and this is the nutshell a earth is the only planet that supports all forms of life more than 2/3 of its surface is covered with water and there are seven continents and five oceans this is the gone through of the chapter main points okay exercise i have already done and third i had not marked it so it is south america the third largest continent is uh, the uh, dash has the shortest coastlines of all the continents so it is south america so today we will go through question what are what are continents named the seven continents of the world in the decreasing order of their size and secondly is the second question is describe some features of antarctica okay so i will give you uh, in the group the answer question answer you will write it in the fair copy okay sst fair copy Thank you